Welcome on Police Extravaganza. This episode discusses reasonable suspicion, qualified immunity, and obstruction. This video is provided to us by the YouTube channel Double App News. Be sure to visit them to give them the credit they deserve. On May 25, 2022, the owner of the YouTube channel Double App News, who we will refer to as Mr. Double, was parked in his car with his kids in McKee, Kentucky, when an officer from the McKee Police Department responded to a call about a 12-year-old child who was running around in the area naked. In this video, we will see a polite and professional police officer who will get owned by a really smart and awareness about his right civilian. Officer Weaver pulled his cruiser in front of Mr. Double's vehicle, got out of it, and went up to the driver's side window of Mr. Double's vehicle and started to talk to him. It is at this moment that the present video starts. Hi, how are you? Good. My what's, name is Officer Weaver with the Police Department. Okay, what's your badge number? Uh, my badge number is 304. What's your name, please? I don't answer questions. You ran my plate already. I did not run your plate. Okay, you can run the plate. Yeah, I, I know I can run your plate because mm -hmm. I have a legal right to do so. Is this a traffic stop? This is, I'm conducting an investigation. Okay, so I don't need to answer your questions. Well, if you hinder my investigation, you mm -hmm. can be cited for that. Okay. Okay. That's the way that it is in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. When I went through the academy, that's the way that I was trained, is that if I'm conducting an investigation, I have the right to temporarily detain Okay, you. what's your investigation? My investigation was that there was an approximate 12-year-old juvenile okay. running around this specific area gotcha. naked. That's a very serious complaint. Okay. Okay. It's not just a, hey, how are you? Why are you here? This is a very serious complaint. Gotcha. Who made the complaint? Um, I received that call in public service, and I do not have to tell you that. Okay, so call the uh, the complainant and figure out, okay. you know, where this child went. Okay. Uh, we have nothing to do with that. Okay, all right. Do you have your identification on you? No, sir. I don't need to identify myself. You, you don't have to identify yourself? No. Okay. You have reasonable or articulate suspicion that I've committed a crime? I do not think. Okay. Which you have committed. A you have a body camera? I have my body camera on. Okay, very this good. This time, so it's, gotcha. it's recording. And do you have an incident number for this? Uh, or a dispatch, CAD number or anything like that? will have a CAD number because I just radioed it. Gotcha. Again. So this yeah. is not a traffic stop. You're just doing an investigation, right? I'm conducting an investigation in reference to the safety of a juvenile. Gotcha. Which is a okay. very serious charge. Okay, so complaint. I'm not obstructing you in any way. You can go ahead and do your investigation, but I'm not asking you any questions. You are obstructing gotcha. my investigation okay. by not answering any questions. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. No. Uh, where did you get your degree? Okay. Are you an attorney? I or are you a citizen? I don't answer any questions. Okay. All right. Well, um, like I said, I am not trying to be difficult with you. Okay. I'm simply trying to conduct an investigation. From what I understand, mm -hmm. the way that I was trained at the DLCJT Academy in Richmond was that I have the right to detain you temporarily to conduct an investigation. You can, okay. You're refusing to answer my questions, which mm -hmm. means you are hindering my investigation. That's not how it works. Okay. So, are you the authority on on the rules? I See, I'm not. I'm just trying to follow them the best I was trained. Okay. Did you create the rules, or...? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? I suspect. Here's Since, you're, since I don't have to interrogate you, mm -hmm. and I don't have to read you your rights because we're just talking, you're not under arrest. I think that you are being very suspicious in the sense that you do not want to identify yourself. You're is, creating a certain amount of suspicion about yourself. Is suspicious a misdemeanor or a felony? No. That is not a crime. Okay. You're not committing a crime. Am I being detained right now? You are being detained. Okay. That's right. So I can conduct For what crime am I being detained? You do not have to be committing a crime to be detained. I'm okay. conducting an investigation. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying to you. I mean, I, I said you haven't committed a crime. Okay. I said, but I'm conducting an investigation. Okay, so do your so, investigation. May I have your name and your identification? No, sir. Okay. May I have the child's name? No. Those are my kids and they're minors. Okay. All right. Okay, and so you're refusing to answer my questions? Yes. Okay. So if I if I write you a ticket for hindering my investigation, you'll be violating my civil rights and you'll be in civil litigation. Okay, for doing what? Am I being detained? You're being detained. 
being detained okay. because I'm conducting an investigation. I'm requesting your supervisor now. Oh, um, if he is still around, I'll be more than glad to get him for you. I'll tell you what, I'll try to call him on the phone to, to have him. No, I, okay. I don't want to speak on the phone. Okay. Why don't you tell dispatch to call the uh, the complainant, see if they can get a description or whatever the case well, may let's, be let's to be help you in your investigation. Clear. Sir, I'm the police. Are you a police officer? I don't answer questions. Okay. I'm a police officer. I have the authority over this investigation. Okay. I have the authority. Why are you harassing me right now? Can you please define harassment? You're, har you're harassing me right now. No, I don't meet the criteria. Just like you, you haven't committed a crime, mm -hmm. so I'm not charging you with a crime. Okay. You're saying that I'm harassing you, but I'm not. I have not uh, committed the act of harassment. I'm simply conducting an investigation. I mean you no harm. I mean you no discomfort. And I am certainly not going to violate any of your civil rights. Okay. All I'm doing is conducting an investigation. What I would like to know is, is if. If your ch children, however many you have in your vehicle, have been running around. And I answered that when you first pulled up. I said, I know nothing about that. Okay. You said you know nothing about it. Yeah. Was that? Okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm going to run your license plate. You could do that. That's public information. That, that's exactly right. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not harassing you. I'm simply conducting an investigation. I don't want to violate your rights. I have rights, you have rights. Okay. And I don't want to fringe upon those. And if you violate my rights, you lose your qualified immunity. Okay. That's totally fine. That, because That's fine? Okay. If Yeah, that, that would be fine if I violate your rights, but I'm not violating your rights. So I don't have anything to worry about because okay. I don't intend to do that. No problem. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Sir, am I being detained? Yes, you are. We're still being detained. I'm trying to get the information back. I have no way of identifying you at this time because you're refusing to answer my questions, which is hindering my investigation. And since you asked for my supervisor, I'm going to try to get him down here so that maybe he can assist you further in any questions that you may have so that we don't violate your rights. I don't, I don't have any questions. But if you're detaining me, then yes, I'm requesting a supervisor. If you're, if I'm yeah. free to go, then I'm free to go. You're, you're being detained until I can finish my investigation. Okay. For what crime again? I told you several times, you're not. I'm not charging you for a crime. I'm simply trying to conduct an investigation to see if a crime has been committed. Therefore, I have a right under Kentucky Revised Statute to. Temporarily detain you on to temporarily detain you on conducting my investigation. You're refusing to identify yourself, so you are hindering. That's because I don't have to. I haven't committed a crime. Okay. Hello. Um, I have a gentleman here. That was uh, that was our chief deputy here with Jackson County Sheriff's Office. He was concerned about my call. Well, what's his name? Uh, his name is Deputy Daniel Isaacs. Okay. Yeah, he was concerned about the nature of the call and what, what's going on. Um, like, like I said, I don't want to violate your rights but at all, and I'm not going to violate your rights, um, but I do have the right to conduct an investigation. Okay, and yeah, you're, so you you're refusing to cooperate, and... I, I, I don't work for you guys. I don't need to help you in your investigation. Yeah, yeah. Well... You don't work for me. That that much is clear because I don't know you. If I did know you, I would know your name and, and that kind of thing. But so, are you aware that in the state of Kentucky, if you're in operational control of this vehicle, and an officer asks you to identify yourself, you're required to do that. In a traffic stop. Is this a traffic stop? Well, it's it's an investigation. You have operational control of this vehicle. Okay. I need to know that you legally have the right. You to. already ran the plea. I, I didn't get the information back. Okay. Well, this is not a traffic stop. I am, however, conducting an investigation. You're in operational control of that vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, I, I came to you professionally. You, you just, you, 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 mm -hmm. and you're refusing to. You're going to jam yourself up, I'm telling you.
we were all good until you got here. We were having a splendid day, brother. Okay. So don't don't, don't violate my rights. So I'm telling you. So by asking you some questions, I've, I've no, absolutely not. You can ask, but I can refuse. Unless you suspect me of committing a crime, I don't need to identify myself. Well, I tell you what, since since you're not under arrest, and, and I'm going to do everything that I can to to treat you as fairly as possible. But if you put yourself in my shoes and you were a police officer, and I refuse to identify yourself with a juvenile in and the that, car. And that's actually good that yeah. you guys have body cameras. For a small department like yours, I'm actually, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you guys have body well, cameras. Do, do you know why we have body cameras? For, for Well, I, I don't keeps, know why, but it's good for transparency. That's exactly right. I'm trying to be transparent with you. Okay. Do you have a, a CAD number for this? Or? I will have. Okay. Yep. See, I'm not at my mobile computer because I'm conducting this investigation. And just given the nature of what we have, um, I'm not going to step away from my vehicle. You, you've created a certain amount of suspicion and uneasiness with me trying to. So my how can I how how can I quell your suspicions? You can identify yourself. Okay. Do that you would help. do you suspect me of committing a crime, Officer okay. Weaver? Um, it's a yes or no question. I I suspect that reasonable suspicion is letting me know that. There's a juvenile in your car that I can plainly see. That's plain view. Okay. Okay. I know that I got a call about a juvenile running around naked. Okay. Did you, ob did you observe any of these children running around naked? Well, I don't know how many children you have. Can I, may uh, I see? Yeah. Why, why not? Okay. You can, you can look in. Just two in here. Is there any in the back seat? No, sir. In the very back? I, that's okay. And quite frankly, if you look at their faces, you're scaring them. Okay. What am I doing to scare them? You're harassing them, their father. Can you please define the word harass, please? I'm not causing an alarm, a disturbance, or an annoyance. I'm simply conducting an investigation. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a police officer. Okay. That is my job. So how can I be harassing you if I'm simply doing my job? Gotcha. So I'm not I'm not obstructing you from doing your job. You can do you your are investigation. By to identify yourself. I'm not identifying myself. I haven't committed a crime. Okay. okay. This is not Nazi Germany. Do what now? It's not Nazi Germany. Oh, I I wouldn't I'm not, uh, and I'm not forcing you to. I'm just simply trying to keep you with, within the, the scope of my investigation. There's no reason why you should be afraid of me either, like you said. You know, no. I said suspicious, not scared. Okay. Yeah, you, please you have, be careful. You, you have your uh, backup yeah. right here. There's, there's absolutely no reason why. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any weapons in the car? No, sir. Okay. And I didn't have to answer, answer that either. But right. as a courtesy, I don't have and any weapons. Like I said, in the car. this is a give and take. I, I'm not trying to hinder you. What I mean is, is my sidearm is very visible. It's right here on my side. This is the only weapon that I have, and it's on my side. Okay, so I would just like to know, for my safety and yours, if you have any weapons in the car. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go speak with this other unit here. I, th I thought he was going to get out. Uh, I'm going to go speak with him briefly. Uh, if you could just kind of remain as did, you they, are. Did they give you a description of the child running around, or? Um, just that the, the juvenile was approximately um, around the age of possibly 11 to 12, but could be younger. So, yeah. You can see my concern. Because I, I, there, I, there's grave danger they could exist if something were to be wrong with this situation, like say with you and your kids, if you were having some type of issue, or if your child was having an issue. And it were to jump out and run out in front, that's, that's just very dangerous. That's why I'm conducting the investigation. I take those things very seriously when it comes to children. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go speak with uh, this other unit real quick, okay? Okay. So, I have spoke with uh, uh, Deputy Bobby Edwards with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. And I conferred with him and asked him, you know, I don't want to violate your rights. I am conducting an investigation, okay, and I, I feel like I do have reasonable suspicion that, that something could be amiss here, okay? Mm -hmm. 
But like, like one. But you have two juveniles in your okay. farm, in I, the area we, that the complaint I've was already, I've in. already yeah. cl clarified yeah. that these are my children. Yes, that's and, correct. And you're scaring them. Well, you know, the only thing that I know to tell you is something I learned a long time ago. I can't provide security, which is part of being a police officer, without some form of, um, I, I, what was the word? With a little, without a little bit of discomfort, that just comes with the nature of this, and I don't mean it. I really don't. I'm simply trying to conduct an investigation. Um, but from after speaking uh, with Deputy Edwards um, and gaining some some wisdom from him, okay, I'm not going to step on your rocks, and I do not think at this time, okay, from what the sum of everything that I've gathered, I do not think that you've committed a crime, okay. And I don't want to overstep my bounds as an officer by trying to force you to do something or try to force you to do something that is in direct violation of your rights. I have rights, you have rights. That's the way that I police. I want to be fair. Firm but fair within the law. And at this time, after speaking with Deputy Edwards, I do not feel like that I have enough evidence or uh, probable cause to make you or try to force you to identify yourself. Okay? And so with that, I'm going to leave you. I don't know your name, and, and that's, that's all right. Um, I don't think that you've committed a crime, and I do apologize for inconvenience. That's what the word I was looking for. Sometimes you can't provide security without inconvenience, and that is a part of my job. So, like I said, um, have a good day, and I apologize for your inconvenience. But I am going to be leaving, um, and like I said, I don't think that at this time I have probable cause to think that you have committed a crime. So therefore, I'm terminating my investigation. That, okay. okay. Yeah. I, I need a I need a CAD number. Can you write it down for me, please? You could. You can call Jackson County Dispatch uh, 911 and let them know that you were uh, just stopped by Officer Weaver um, at the Jackson County Extension Office. Now that's an emergency line. Uh huh. Not, do you or, have a? I do. I have a regular landline if you'd like that. It's uh, 606. 287-9979. Okay. Okay. Um, as a courtesy to you, uh, if you'll give me just a second, if dispatch ha has a CAD up and running at this time, um, I'll get that for you. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. There's a CAD number for my investigation. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.